My name is Bob Fishman. I'm a partner in the Chicago office of Fox Rothschild, which is a, uh, a national firm in the United States with uh, offices around the country. Um, I am an insolvency lawyer, have been practicing in that area for uh, about 40 years, and that's, uh, that's my specialty. In addition, Fox Rothschild is probably one of the nation's most preeminent uh, firms in terms of cannabis practice. It's a relatively new area in the law and uh, our firm has uh, become very involved in the area and has quite an extensive practice that uh, reaches into uh, many different areas of the uh, cannabis arena. I think IR Global presents some really uh, great opportunities. Um, the economy uh, of the world has become very globalized and uh, in my arena of insolvency uh, there are many foreign companies that do business in the United States and many U.S. companies that are doing business abroad and financial distress is a reality uh, both in the United States and abroad and uh, I felt that it was an advantage uh, to gain personal relationships with professionals uh, in various countries around the world and IR Global does a great job of putting extremely competent professionals in front of you so that you get a chance to meet them and know them and then when you uh, or your clients need assistance in a foreign jurisdiction, um, you can call somebody who you actually know instead of just looking up somebody's name on a list and hoping that uh, they're on the list for legitimate reasons. So I get a great deal of comfort in knowing that when I call uh, on somebody from IR Global to help me out, that I'm going to be getting a responsible and extremely competent professional who my client can comfortably rely on, and that, and that gives me um, a great deal of confidence in making those recommendations. I have worked on a number of matters uh, that have been brought to me by members of IR Global. Uh, we have uh, a member from China who, uh, who had a client in the United States that needed representation in a bankruptcy case and uh, they asked me to take care of their client in that bankruptcy case and I did. We have a member from Australia who uh, had a client who had an interest in a disputed piece of real estate in the Chicago area and they needed help both in getting evaluation of that property and in dealing with the disposition of that property and so I was able to help them with that. Uh, we have uh, a member from the United States, who, who from Florida, who was involved in some litigation that involved a witness in the Northern District of Illinois and they needed to obtain a subpoena and have that subpoena issued and served on their prospective deposition witness and so they called me and asked me to help them with that and uh, that's the, probably the most recent thing that I did. I've sent a couple of things out. Um, probably the most noteworthy was uh, I represented a bankruptcy trustee in a large U.S. bankruptcy case and it had a significant dispute with an Australian entity uh, and we had to do discovery uh, in Australia um, with respect to the disputed claim of that entity and that was beyond the scope of anything that I could deal with on my own and so I had to hire one of our Australian members to engage in the discovery process with the Australian entity uh, and they of course knew exactly how to go about doing that and were able to accomplish it and if left to my own devices I would probably still be chasing that Australian entity around trying to figure out how to get the information from them. Well, when I first joined um, IR, uh, the uh, various substantive committees were just getting off the ground. It was something that I helped organize and uh, felt very strongly that the insolvency practitioners of IR needed a forum to talk with each other uh, about uh, insolvency issues. Now, of course, the, the main thing that I had hoped to do was to attract business from other members of IR who were in the insolvency world. Um, and, and of course, that's, that's still the main uh, most important goal. But the most interesting thing that's come of it for me has been uh, having a chance to talk with the professionals from countries around the world about how the insolvency practice works in their country versus how it works in the United States. And it, it, I think it's been really valuable for all of us 
uh, to, uh, to be able to realize that um, uh, the way we do things is not the way everyone else does things. And you learn a lot uh, when you come to understand that in this country or in that country, if you want to accomplish something, you're going to have to go about it in a different way than the way you might be used to from how you do things at home. And so uh, I found it intellectually stimulating to learn from all, all the people around the world about the different ways that insolvency is dealt with in their countries. Well, when I first joined IR, I was definitely looking outward. I was definitely looking at international relationships and attracting uh, business and having the opportunity to refer business internationally. But as more and more U.S. lawyers got involved in IR Global, uh, we all have come to realize that the, the lawyers within the United States might be some of our best referral opportunities. Um, oftentimes you find you need an expert in a particular area of law in a location where you're not able to handle it yourself. And, and other people, of course, find that same thing. And, and so what we discovered is uh, by getting together in the geographic region, and the, I think the East Coast group has had several meetings now, at least two or three that I can recall, um, uh, it gives us a chance to get to know lawyers in Florida and in Georgia and in Virginia and in New York, et cetera. Um, and uh, and it, it's, 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 I think there's been a lot of referrals made amongst the lawyers here in the United States between members in IR, which at least when I joined was not really what I was looking for, but has become a nice added bonus that, uh, that I'm happy to be able to take advantage of.